because we want to explain to our members, you know, what what value the advocacy team brings to GCP, to Cozy, you know, let's talk about some of the wins that we've had here. I think one of, one of the most significant wins that we've had at the state level is the business income tax deduction, where you know up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars of uh, business income is tax free at the state level, which is really remarkable and has really helped a lot of folks. Uh, you know whether they're uh, you know uh, self proprietors, whether you know, just a small business really has helped them along significantly over the past several years. And, you know, we are looking for uh, creative ways in which we can not only retain talent, but attract it too. One way to do that is to provide uh, really solid incentives like the business income tax deduction, where you can start a business and we're going to help you along. We're going to make sure that you're able to keep as much of that money as possible uh, as you're starting out and growing that business, it gives you it gives you resources to reinvest. We can we can sit here till we're blue in the face, and th- I'm sure the uh, uh, talented people out there could figure out what amount of that income tax gets reinvested versus uh, you know put into someone's pocketbook. But regardless, it's it's encouraging entrepreneurship. And when we talk about 20, 30, 40 years from now, those entrepreneurs who might have been saving a few dollars on income tax and reinvesting it into their business are the ones who will flourish and say those early stages of the business without having to be saddled with an investor or, you know, that, that type of debt, I I was able to reinvest and keep going. So programs like that are tremendous to create an entrepreneurial region. And it puts our business owners in the position of being able to provide quality jobs with quality benefits and good pay. And, you know, I mean, that's what we want to see. We want to be able to uh, give people that opportunity to start anew uh, and and grow that into something that maybe at one point they only dreamed was possible. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing we touched on earlier was our MIWA, our Multiple Employer Welfare Agreement. One of the greatest assets that we have at Cozy is this healthcare benefit we provide to our members. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, we've seen a few different uh, areas at the state level where uh, you know, folks have tried to chip away at this benefit, and perhaps not even intentional. But you know that's the trouble with healthcare and other complicated uh, and nuanced policy areas. Is you know uh, even if you're not trying to do harm over here, you know pulling the thread over here can really cause some catastrophic damage. Absolutely. And you know that's what we saw last year with House Bill 135. Again, I won't go into all the details, but you know we saw uh, where uh, our our healthcare providers were in a position where they were not going to be able to provide us cost effective uh, pharmaceuticals in hospitals, uh, which essentially would have caused our health healthcare costs to go up. You know, our members they don't only value what that healthcare benefit is under Cozy, but you know they rely on it. Uh, you know, and we're really proud to say that you know the Greater Cleveland Partnership. Uh, we are the largest metropolitan chamber of commerce in the country. Uh, you know, with with uh, the uh, combination of GCP and Cozy several years ago, uh, you know, look how our power has grown as a business entity. And again, you know, it all comes back to the point of of strength in numbers, mm-hmm. right? You know, I when when I go to DC or to Columbus and I tell people that you know I'm here representing the largest metro chamber in the country, you know, that gets people to perk up a bit. And it gets them to realize that all the things we've been talking about here today, all the great assets that we have the privilege to be able to leverage on behalf of our community, uh, you know, we uh, we are a really, really uh, important uh, economic powerhouse up here. Yeah. Yeah. Terry, at the end of the day, when, you know, whatever the uh, perception of people outside of Cleveland is, of Cleveland... It sure is powerful to say we have such an engaged business community and we have convened them with one collective voice. I'm sure it's humbling for you. It's it's a privilege for me to be able to sit here and be the chair of the Small Business Caucus and um, help to move the voice of our small business community 